Kenny, how tough a week has it been for you? Well, it's been very difficult, uh, as you would as imagine the response to Stuart packing in on uh, Sunday stroke. Monday was difficult for everybody to take, you know, and uh, it's been an awkward week to say the least, but I think we'll get back to normality a little bit tomorrow when we have a we we'll have a game here at Fir Park, and that's what we're looking for. When he told you he was leaving, did you try and persuade him otherwise? Well, I think he had, um, speaking to him again, I think he had kind of half made his mind up um, over the weekend after the, the St Johnson game, and yeah. it's not like him to be the, the way he was. He was very down, and I think when you try and say, look, sleep on it, and one, I think he had made his mind up on Sunday when he spoke to me after their youth game against Celtic, and I think he had, as I say, made his mind up, so... Did it come as a surprise? Yeah, definitely. You know, I think we're obviously disappointed the way the results have been going. Um, you know, we, we saw signs of a, a little bit better play from us against St Johnson. I thought we were a bit unlucky to lose that game, actually. But the bottom line is we did lose it, and I think that's been the main problem. He's a, he's a winner. Um, he's had undoubted success here uh, in the four years that we've been together. And I think, uh, looking back on things, you know... Uh, he can be very, very proud of his achievements here at Motherwell. How has it affected the mood in the squad, Kenny? Because a lot of people, a lot of the players, I don't know how they felt, they'd let him, and let him down. Yeah, well, you know, I think it was a... He had a chat with the players when he came in on Monday, and it was a a difficult day for, I think, Stuart himself speaking to the players, because a lot of them has worked under him for the four years that he's been here. Um, Monday's training session was difficult, to say the least, but once we got going... As the week has progressed, I'm not saying it's been a little bit easier, but I think certainly, um, well, hopefully we see a reaction um, tomorrow night uh, in the game against Dundee United, and I think a lot of the players will, will be disappointed in how things have turned out because they feel, as you say, they've, they've probably let them down a little bit. Looking forward now, Kenny. Obviously, that a new manager has to come in. Do you want to be that new manager? Well, to be perfectly honest with you, when he, when, he, when he spoke to me on Sunday, um, it all came as a, as, a, as a surprise, you know, and I think really this week has been, I can't believe we're now here on Thursday, it's just flew in this week, and I've never really had a chance to digest anything. All I've been asked to do is basically look after the team for tomorrow's game, which I'm going to do, and I'll be kept up to pace with, with what goes on. Um, I certainly wouldn't rule anything out, um, but for me to be, give an honest answer, uh, it would be difficult because I've not really had time to, to, to look into that. A year over 50 applications have been made so far, can you... I so it, you're talking about my age there, so <laughs> 50, yeah. I think it, uh, to be considered for the job, you have to put in an application. Yeah. Can you be putting in an application? Uh, as I say, I, I'm, I'm going to get the game tomorrow, uh, out the way, um, and then I'll, I'll have, a, have, a, have a think about it, you know, but I, I'm not surprised there's a lot of applications, there's probably been a load of applications right after the news became public on, on the Sunday evening. Um, but it's a club that I've thoroughly enjoyed my time here, uh, and I say looking forward to the game tomorrow night in difficult circumstances, but I'm sure, uh, as I say, not, not, no surprise to me that there's a, a load of applicants there for, for, uh, for the job. Would you be willing to stay on as assistant to somebody else, Ken? Well, I think that all depends who who in fact the board go for. You know, I think if it was a manager who who requested that I, I remained on board, um, certainly would give you something to think about. But as I say, I know the club. Um, so that may, may well be an option, but usually now what happens, if a new manager does come in, they usually come with their own backroom squad in place. So uh, that may be an option, or it may not be an option, I don't know. Does this club now need somebody in the mould of Stuart McCall, or do they need to go for something totally different now? Well, uh, to go with somebody completely different, well, that would be a... It's a hard act to follow. Uh, I don't think there's any, any question about that. Whoever does get the job um, is replacing a man who is thoroughly respected throughout not just Scottish football but British football. And it, I think it was, a, as I say, going back to the earlier decision, I, I don't think he, he just made it on a whim. I think he's, it's obviously been building up and, and, and affecting his... At home life, for example, you know, if he's not sleeping or whatever, but certainly to go and replace Stuart McCall for what he's achieved at Motherwell will be extremely difficult and it's a, a massive challenge to whoever uh, does indeed get the job. Will that affect your thought process? Uh, possibly. You're asking some questions here, Peter. I, I, 
I, I, I don't know. Um, as I say, it is a difficult one to replace, and can you replace him? That remains to be seen because uh, they're fantastic. And sometimes it's not until that he's actually left the club that he, people take a little step back and think, well, oof, Champions League qualifier and finishing third behind Rangers and Celtic, second, second in consecutive seasons. I think the only void, and we, we did discuss this, was that would have liked to have done a lot better, and I think he's been quoted as saying this in the cup competitions. I mean, last year, I think getting knocked out with Albion Rovers was a, a big, big blow for us, but the week after, we lost 5-0 at home to Celtic, then we went on a run of five, six straight defeats, so it just shows you what, what he was capable of, turning things round, but I just felt, that he, he felt that it was just maybe a bridge too far now. Will you do anything different? No, because I think, well, you've always got your own little ideas. Um, but for me to sit here and say I'd do things differently when with the, with the amount of success that we did have, you're always your own man. Um, but certainly, at, at, the, at the moment, things will remain very much how we how we uh, conduct ourselves as a management team. Would you change something tomorrow? Because significantly, should you win that? I'd like to change the result, Peter, if I could. But yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, that would change maybe thinking. Think yeah, like. yeah, definitely. Um, we... we uh, we, we certainly, for the for the whole club, needs a needs a lift in regards to getting a positive result. And, and I had a meeting with the players this morning, and and they understand that. But I think the time for talking is uh, is now gone. You know, I think we've really got to go and do our talking on the park, which I felt at times against St. Johnson last Friday uh, that we, we managed to do. But ultimately, the result at full time was another defeat. So that really needs to get rectified sooner rather than later. How important is it to get somebody in, you know, a new person in the job, the top job? Um, well, I think it'll be it'll be for the club to to see how things develop, and I think tomorrow night's a it's not a make or break for for me if I was interested in the job. I think it's one of these ones that what it does do it, it, after tomorrow night. There's a two week break for the international break. It may well give the the directors something to think about with a positive result, a negative result, but certainly getting a bit of. Uh, Continuity, whatever you may call it, getting someone in uh, would be would be important. I would think sooner rather than later. In terms of the team news for tomorrow, can you, how's it shaping up? Um, Stevie Hamill, unfortunately, looks as if he might struggle to be fit. Um, we uh, Jack Leach had a bad injury. Um, his, his, his knee ligaments. I think he's got to go in for an operation. Um, we've got no suspensions, um, so everybody really is. I've got a squad there who all trained today, the ones who are available, uh, that have been available for the last two or three weeks apart for the exception of possibly Stevie Hamill. And they're all desperate to play, and I think so they should be. You know, I think we, uh, we've we got to go out there and, you know, it's live on TV, we've got to make sure we, we lay down a, a a marker as such, and it would be nice to get a to get a victory to, to, to end a, a really difficult week. How tough is it going to be against Dundee United are flying at the moment and probably yeah. haven't even hit top four? They, they, they have been achieving a, a, a few results lately without playing particularly well and I think they've been quoted as saying that, Jackie, I think. And I, I watched them last week against um, St Mirren at home. Uh, I think they deserved to win the game in the end but the first half was a little bit level. They got a goal just before half-time. They are probably... Yeah, the form side, arguably, in the, in the league at the moment, with where they are, and it's, again, a, a perfect opportunity for us to play against the league leaders and to try and make a, some sort of statement.